My name is Carol Sweeney. I uh, started looking up the history of Freeport and got uh, connected with Gordon, who is the master, and another guy named Rod Chapman, and uh, the stuff that we uh, figured out. And uh, then we got this little church. He bought this church to, to uh, uh, put all the historical stuff in here, that's, which is amazing. Uh, and I also belong to Freeport Renaissance Association. Uh, we have the events like September by the River and Christmas in Freeport, and the money that we make there helps to beautify and revitalize Freeport. Um, and that's what I do here. I'm Gordon Brenneman. I've been a long time Freeport area resident. I was born right over here on uh, 6th Street. Started out collecting airheads and running around through the area looking for airheads. And, digging them up and just started getting interested in other sections of the history. And we needed a place for the History Center and it, this was the perfect place. I've now, always hated to see these old buildings torn down. So I thought, well, this won't get torn down while I have it. <laughs> this was built in 1837. So uh, It's one of the oldest buildings in Freeport now. Freeport is actually known as, as the jewel on the Allegheny River. We have a gazebo down there that's beautiful, and we put docks in there down there. So um, it is a friendly, beautiful little borough. Of course, there's the Guggenheimer Distillery, and they were the largest distillery of rye whiskey in the world. Well, they had several locations here. One was down in the lower end of Freeport, and uh, one over near Laneville, and then the main section was on the island up here, or what we call the island now. They produced the rye whiskey, which uh, several bottles over here, That's the label's still on them. We have, we have Massey Harbison, who was a settler here, and the Indians came and, and raided her house and took her hostage. I'll read it a little bit to you. The most famous town in Freeport history was a capture by Indians of an early settler, settler named Massey Harbison. Years before the town was established, Mrs. Harbison and her soldier husband, John Harbison, settled in the area. One day in 1792, while Harbison was on a scouting trip, Indians raided his house, mur murdered Harbison's three-year-old boy, and took his wife and five-year-old son and baby captive. They forced the women and children to travel on foot into what is now Butler County, where the five-year-old was also killed. After six days, Mrs. Harbison escaped with her baby. They made their way uh, to a cow path that led to Six Mile Island, just across a river where Highland Park is today. There she saw three men on the opposite side of the river. One of the men came across to rescue her. It is recorded that she was returned to, safe to safety. About 150 thorns were removed from her feet. She was re reunited with her husband, John, the next day, and they moved from Freeport to Slatelick. They, they would later uh, return to Freeport. We also have a famous actor that was born here, Don Taylor, from uh, a while ago. Um, he was born in 1920. I'm sure some of the older people will remember him. He was a very good-looking guy. And um, he was an actor and a director from 1943 to 1988, and he's very handsome. And then we have the grist mill that's down here. And it, it was, they, they uh, milled flour down there. Closed its doors in 1965, ending a 67 year of uh, Mickey's Mill milling business. Anyhow, the original equipment is still in there. The mill also serves as a stop along the Butler to Freeport Trail. The Buffalo Creek route of the trail extends into Laneville. So they use that trail to get down there and to visit this old historical place. We have another guy, we have doc, Dr. David Alter, famous inventor. Um, he made, uh, let me see here, he made an a, a electric motor and a little later he announced the development of a telegraph that could speak in other words, the telephone. So we have, we have a famous uh, inventor. Then in spectrum analysis. And, yes. Well, a lot of stuff is a big, huge tombstone up in the cemetery uh, here. Yes, exactly. It has all the stuff he did carved into And then he's in, in, in 1840, the physician constructed what he called an electric bug, buggy, the forerunner of the automobile. He invented a rotary motor for the ex, ex, extraction of, of oil from coal. 
He invented a process to extract bromides from the waste of salt wells along Allegheny River. Bromides had been scarce and very costly. He was Freeport's first photographer, taking pictures only for his own amusement. And he had some kind of a technique for spectrum analysis. He was born in 1807. He, he was the first doctor that would travel by horseback to go for his patients. So he was also a, a doctor along with an inventor. So he was a very famous man. Dutch Lobby was the president of Freeport Brick Company. And uh, when you come into Freeport, there's a road to the left that goes back into the uh, Brick Company. It was a fairly large uh, business. And, uh, they made fire bricks for in uh, furnaces for steel mills and so on. And uh, Dutch was quite a fellow. It's a huge uh, industry. He uh, developed the Freeport Park, started up there in uh, about 1963, I believe. A community and they, park and a swimming pool and. Um, <coughs> Tennis courts and people yeah, for the, the community. They had they had a railroad up there that went the whole way around the park and several places you could see over the mountain and see all of Laneville and part of Freeport. Quite an extensive head old railroad uh, caboose up there. Yeah, there's a picture there. A rocket ship and a tank, a original tank from. Second World War and a, a fighter plane that was all fixed up so you could crawl through it.